Welcome to Tsarskaya Sloboda in the city of Tomsk. It is one of the oldest neighborhoods in the whole city. It was founded in the 17th century by Tatars, which is a nationality in Russia. And many of the buildings have been saved and uh, preserved to this day. There are so many historic buildings that I'm going to show you today. We're going to go to the Tatar Museum. I'm going to show you the inside of it. We're going to go in a secret tunnel to the river. And I'll show you a bunch of other stuff along the way. The neighborhood used to be called Zaistochia because this whole area used to be an island. There was a river called Istok and Za in Russian can mean behind. So Zaistochia means behind the river. This road is actually part of the Great Siberian Road, which was a road that went all the way from Irkutsk in the east to Moscow in the west. A road of who knows how many thousands of kilometers. The main people who came here were merchants, entrepre entrepreneurs, and tradesmen who came from Kazan, Central Asia, and Tobolsk, which is another city in Siberia. I believe it was the first city in all of Siberia. These are what they call the twin houses at the beginning of the village. It's Alexei ben Belinsa Street, 7 and 5. They used to be rented out to people. It's called a Dachodni Dome, which means a... How do I explain? A rented house, like you get money from it, it's a profit house. And they used to be one property, so they used to be one address. I believe in this one there is a hotel. I'm currently standing in front of the first electric power station in all of Tomsk. It was built in 1896 until 19... Oh, dog. I'm currently standing in front of the first electric power station in all of Tomsk. It was built in 1896 until 1947. It was used as the main power generating facility in Tomsk. After 1947 until 1979, it was used for heating water for the central heating system of the city and after that it was shut down of course another interesting fact about the address it, it used to be called kone adva which means like horse street 2 which, this is where they used to sell horses. This was like the main horse market, essentially. And actually, horse markets were very needed because some of the richest people in this entire area were the people who, who uh, bred horses for the army in the Russian-Japanese War. That was, there's one giant house here, and that's how they got their money, is they sold horses to the white army. We're currently walking along Tatarska Ulitsa, which means Tatar Street. It is one of the only streets in all of Tomsk that has the exact same name in all archival documents from the time it was first recorded. So many streets change their names. For, except, for example, Prospect Lenin, which is the main street of the city, used to be called Ulitsa Pachtamskaya or something like that, which means like post office street essentially the main bus stop there is actually still called glove punch stomp which means the main post the main post office something along those lines i don't know how to translate it perfectly many of the houses built on the street were rented as the chodnia dama which means profit house which means that they were rented out to tenants like basic apartments in order to get money for the people who rented them and I'm just walking through one of the, uh, like the little yards that they have here. It's nice, it's just like a nice place for kids to sit. You can see the bright colors of the house, which is really nice. And then this one isn't as a good shape as that one because it's not as open to the road. This house right here was built in the end of the 19th century 
and actually it was part of the program which is called House for Ruble, which the government does if you promise to restore the house, they will let you rent the house for 50 years for one ruble a year as long as you restore it. These archways, as far as I've researched, were very commonplace in Tomsk. And it's a very Siberian architectural piece, if I could put it that way. Here's what it looks like when you enter. Uh, I asked them why some of these buildings have wood on the top and brick on the bottom. And they essentially told me that it's because they used to sell stuff. There used to be businesses on the bottom floor and people would live on the top floor. And you can see all these ornate decorations. Let me see if I can get a bit closer so that you can see them better. But there's so many ornate decorations. It's very common on these Siberian wooden houses like this. As you can see, it's a very common just garden on the side of the house. Flowers, tulips. Oh, there's stuff back here too. I'm gonna walk down here. Yeah, it's a nice house. Like, I don't know what living in them is like, but you have a nice little place to sit down over here. Bench. Oh, this is a great photo. I need to bring my camera out here. So I'll probably just take a photo with my phone. That is probably a cellar for, uh, it's called a pool grib in Russian. They, they store like conserved like vegetables there in, in uh, jars. Uh, this is a place where you can just print stuff. So it says uh, digital and offline printing. I don't know what offline printing is. Numerazzi, I don't know what that is, Paraplit, Kanigi, Journali. So you can basically print anything here, it's just a, it's just a print shop. Alright, there's a graffiti there that I can't record on video, so I have to go around it. Oh, here's a nice pink house. Huh. This is a government print center. How does that work? I don't know. Yeah, it's just a nice pink house. Little garages. This is right here is one of the main sightseeing stops in Tomes. It is the Red Mosque. It was built in 1904, but it was wooden. It burned down, they rebuilt it with brick. The Medress, which is the building right next to it, was built in 1907. Essentially, Sorry, I got distracted. The building I just passed is apparently where they house uh, underage, uh, like a juvenile jail. It's like a temporary holding space for te uh, underage uh, lawbreakers. I don't know how to say it in Russian. This is one of the main sightseeing spots in all of Tomes. It is the Red Mosque. It was built in 1904. The Megdress was built in 1907. The mosque burned down because it was originally wooden, so they rebuilt it in the 20s. It was taken over by the Soviets and used as a liquor factory and a movie theater and a factory, I believe, for making food. Or one of them was the Madras, and then that one was that. And then in the mid-1990s, they gave it back to the Muslim community. And they finished the restoration of, in 2014 because that minaret right there, and that tower, they were both torn down because the mosque was almost fully destroyed. But this is how it looks now. There's a cat. Let's go get closer to Mr. Cat. Because Mr. Cat is my favorite person.
Yeah, not all of these houses are in such good shape. Some of them are in pretty rotten shape. Like, as you see, this one is almost completely collapsed. It's just... It's glass everywhere, broken glass. It's pretty sad. This one also seems to be destroyed, although it was made out of brick. So you'll never believe what this is. This was a water collection tower. So it was used for making sure that everyone in the region had water. It's one of only five surviving towers like this in all of Tomsk. And they actually convert it into a house that is still being rented out. So someone probably lives in this thing. I don't know. I mean, it's a pretty unique house. I can give you that much. Look at these gorgeous, colorful decorations right here. It's really beautiful. I love it. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a cat scaring at me through the window. Hello, cat. Hello. See, this, for example, is a little tiny but uh, library. Look at this absolutely gorgeous house. I don't know who lives here, but this, it's huge. It looks like a fortress. So it doesn't even look like a normal house. It really doesn't fit in with all of the other houses that are around it, which, because of that, it's sort of weird. Oh, we have a nice Laga 2107. I don't know if it's a Jiguli or not. Oh, it looks like there's even some sort of business here. This is, this is one of the weirdest houses I've actually ever seen. Someone hung a dartboard over there. And you have a little grill. This is such a nice house. I don't want to disturb anyone. Wow. This house is gorgeous. So nice. Wow, there's even stairs leading up to... Whoa. Okay, that is a crazy house. This is the dome of the merchant Muhammad Karim Khamilov. It was built in 1905. He made his money from set by selling horses to the White Army for the Russian-Japanese War in 1905. And he used the money he made there by selling horses to build this huge mansion that is absolutely beautiful. It's more or less, it was just restored, but I don't, they didn't really rebuild anything. It was just a restoration. It's really beautiful. And I actually go inside it, but that was in the past, so I'm going to add that video in as soon as I do that. Because otherwise the timeline won't really fit up. It's a beautiful house. Anyone would be lucky to live in such a house these days.
I know that this video wasn't my usual sort of video, but I hope it was informative enough that you liked it and that you would be happy to stay and watch more of my videos. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.